other big This is a wonderful place. This can this can be very inspiring and confusing also. So if you if you understand <coughs> understand it's confusing. Even to Indians, to Hindus, these things have to be understood. Everyone must have a certain minimum knowledge to live human life is not simple. Because Human being is a complex being with a lot of complexes too. That's because of self-judgment. The capacity to resolve problems given, just listen to the problem. The capacity, the privilege is given to us the faculty of understanding, reason, questioning, exploring, discovery. It's given to us. That's a capacity. Until we use it in full measure to resolve basic problems, the faculty is disused, abused. Faculty is given. You have to make use of it. That's how it is. In order to resolve certain basic confusion, self-judgmental confusion, And we are born ignorant. There is no born again ignorant. Born again is ignorant. That's a different <laughs> But there is no born ignorant. But there is no born knowledge. Everybody is born ignorant. And ignorance is twofold. One is ignorance of the world, which you objectify by the means of knowledge you have, and ignorance of oneself. And when I have the faculty of self-judgment and born ignorant of myself, I should use my faculty of knowing to know myself clearly. My capacities, my limitations, my nature, what I am, I need to know. I am given the faculty, I am given the ignorance, I am given the confusion also. I need to resolve the confusion, otherwise I can't rest content. That itself tells. that I can't afford to be ignorant of certain things. One is, what is prayer? There are many other things I am going to confine to prayer, which will include also the few other things that I, we need to know. <coughs> Today is Sunday. I have some time with me because my flight is only uh, in the afternoon. I hope you have some time <laughs> so that I have no l limit. But I, I will I will not stretch too much. But I have to cover some topics.
there is a puja. So it's I have a limit. The, the Vedic vision of what is Ishwar, an equivalent of the word God, God, the word, is the most to confuse word, it's confusing word, and everyone has got, has got a concept. God alone can put up with that. <laughs> Nobody else can put up with that. <laughs> that he puts up with all this shows that there is God. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's a subjective word. It is subjective. One fellow says, I believe in God. And I ask him, what do you believe? What is your God? If he tells me, I can't let love. It's such a concept. Very foolish. Then there is another fellow who says, I don't believe in God. And I ask you, which, what is that God according to you? He gives me another concept. <laughs> it is worse than the previous. <laughs> so he doesn't believe in his own concept of God. There is no non-believer and believer. Both of them are committing mistakes. And there is another fellow. He says, I am a I am agnostic. Means I keep my mind open. How long? <laughs> For my lifetime. <laughs> this is the most funny thing. So he keeps his mind open for the for good. And what for I don't understand that. And he has got a name of Gnostic. <clears throat> you understand? God is really great because he puts up with all these people. <laughs> Otherwise he should strike down the whole thing. <laughs> Therefore I am not going to use this card. Word card. An equivalent Ishwara is there. But that is not yet misunderstood. <coughs> At least they are not very clear about each other. And therefore I can use that word until it is also abused. Therefore I am going to use the word Ishra in, in the place of the word this is what I say, communication. Therefore, when I say something, I say me, you should understand. That's called communication. <coughs> Therefore, what is subjective, like the word God, religion and all that, I don't use at all. 